This is the Super Mario World review. It was made a year after Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, again, a really, really big change from the other ones. That sort of has a mixture of everything in it. Like, it's got the same layout as the third Mario Brothers. And um, this one introduces Yoshi. And it was the last, the last Mario game made on the SNES. This one just happened to came with the cartridge because you could buy it, you could originally buy it separately. This label is one of my favourites. This is when you first find Yoshi. And you actually get to pick up turtles and earn one ups if you kill enough enemies. Oh god, no, no, no. Here he is. Cool thing about Yoshi is he eats everything. Everything. See? You pick up a red turtle, he shoots fire. Normal turtle, he'll just shoot it anywhere. Blue turtle, it'll give him wings. And... I think the gold turtle makes him indestructible. I can't remember. You really know baseball players from US or Mario for some reason. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with him. It's really annoying this game to chuck baseballs at you. If you find another um, like Yoshi box, it usually just comes up as a um, like one up. This review I'll show you one of the tunnels that you managed to go in. I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. You can never get those things unless you have to feather. Unlike the Super Mario Bros. 3 where it was um, like a raccoon each it turned into, you, you get a cape in this one. Which is a bit more realistic. He's like Superman. Um, so... That's... My review done of the Super Mario All Stars and Super Mario World. Hope we've enjoyed all five reviews, and the next review will be Super Mario Kart.